Here's a way to make a quick uh, sci-fi hexagonal grid in Blender 2.8 and deleting everything. I'm going to look down from the top and I'm going to go Shift A, Mesh Circle and change it to six vertices. Okay, go into edit mode and make sure it's all selected. E to extrude and S, pull it in as much as you want. A little bit like that, it be fine. Come over to modifiers and add an array in the X direction here. We'll leave it at one. Bring this up to maybe 10. So we have that. Let's add another uh, array modifier. So add modifier array. Okay. Um, if I put this at one in the X and zero in the Y, you'll see that it's just uh, sitting right on top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to 0 0.75 and I'm going to change this to 0 0.05. And now they line up nicely. And now I can increase this as much as you want. I'm going to go for 10 as well like that. Okay, with that done, I'm going to go ahead and hit apply and apply. Now I'm going to select everything in edit mode and I'm going to go mesh clean up merge by distance and you look down here that will have removed a lot of uh, vertices okay so now that we have that done uh, we need to make this a little bit more square so I'm going to deselect and then I'm going to hit B for box select and I'm going to come over here and I select right down the middle there so that I get all of that and I don't need these points right there the, the ones that are in black Okay, and with that done, let me make sure my move is on. I'm going to copy this, Shift D, pull it out over here. I'm going to snap this in. And the way we're going to snap this in is I'm going to turn on snapping. I'm going to snap to vertex and active. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift and click on that point, and then I'm going to shift and click on it again. This is now the active point, and we're going to snap with respect to this. I'm going to move in the X direction, so I'm going to go G, X, and I'm going to slide over, and I'm going to snap it to there. Just holding my mouse over there, and that's done. Okay, without deselecting, I'm going to Shift D, I'm going to copy it over to here. I want to make this end straight, but I'm going to have to rotate this, so I'm going to rotate 180 in the Y, R, Y, 180, and then R, X, 180. All right, I can pull it up a little bit. This point is still active down here. So I'm just going to pull this over and snap it like this. And pull down until it snaps in nicely. Okay, at that point, I can turn that off. I can box select it, deselect those vertices or delete those vertices. And delete those vertices, select it all and mesh clean up merge by distance again it will have gotten rid of a few more so i have a rectangle now of uh, of these guys i'm going to move them all to the middle so i'm with in object mode i'm going to go set origin geometry to origin so it's right in the middle look down from the top okay let's uh, go back into edit mode give this a little bit of thickness so i'm going to go extrude e up in the z direction just a little bit like that Leave it like that for now. And now let's make a little sort of a make this into a panel. So Shift A, Mesh, Plane, and Edit Mode, S to Scale. I'm going to scale it a little bit bigger like that. And then I'm going to scale in the X a little bit bigger like that. And then I'm going to hit I to Inset. I'm going to pull in. I want a bit of a border. I come in until it sort of chops this. And then I'm going to uh, delete that face. Okay. I'm going to select this and I'm going to hit E and I'm going to pull it up to give it some thickness like that. And then uh, one other thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to come into the inside. I'm going to go Control R to add an edge loop. Click Control B. And I'm going to pull, I'm going to give this little part some thickness here because I'm going to have the, the uh, hexagonal grid sort of fit into there. So give it a bit of thickness. Uh, I'm going to take the whole thing and make it a bit thicker. Scale this in the Z. Okay. So I'm going to Shift Alt. I'm going to select that edge. There, all those faces again. Sorry. I'm going to hit 
E, and I'm going to scale this, but not in the Z. S, Shift Z, and I'm going to sort of push in like this so that this piece comes out. And it should come out relatively evenly. Maybe it didn't come out relatively evenly. So I'll select that piece and that piece, and I'll look from the top. And I'll scale this in the Y. You might even hold shift this a little bit more so it's pretty even. Okay. And now I'm going to take the grid and I'm just going to see if I can get it to fit in there. See how well. Really from the top is where it's important to look at. So the grid would fit in there. Let's add some beveling. So grab this and modifier bevel. I'm going to go for two. And uh, 0 0.02 and I'm going to do a similar thing here I'm going to add a modifier bevel I'm going to go for maybe I'll try to 0 0.02 as well and on this one I'm going to shade smooth and then we'll just come back and look at this GZ so it kind of looks like it's coming out of there That's fine like that. Okay, I'm gonna switch over to the cavity shader. Now, you'll see that this was all created in one collection. I'm gonna just rename this, and I'll call it another old panel or something like that. Now, it's a lot of vertices. So if you were making a floor, you know, sci-fly floor out of this, and I didn't make them very small. Normally, we'd probably have them quite a bit smaller, so there'd be a lot more. We might bring it up to 44,000, 50,000. Uh, you don't want to be copying this along. So, for example, if I just take this and I go Shift D, move it up, you'll notice I've jumped up quite a bit. So I'm not going to do it that way. Another way that you can do this is now that this is in a is is in a collection. Okay. What you can do is you can just go Shift A, Collection Instance, Panel, and pull it along. It's not going to be able to snap very well, um, but you can position it, and my vertices will stay the same. I can do that, <clears throat> and uh, I can just keep going. As long as I line them up nice enough, can just keep going and my vertices aren't going up and it's just instancing it okay so we can have this kind of thing you know if you wanted to walk away uh, along there uh, something like that anyhow All right, so um, I'll probably use a technique similar to this in my next uh, sort of sci-fi uh, walkway thing. Thanks for watching.